Okay, what's up, YouTube? It's Pacey AI one more time. About to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. So, really quickly, I want to talk to you guys about Minimax's new image to video. Now, Minimax has developed and has come a long way since the time it started and allowing people to generate videos for free. Now it is a paid service. You can still generate videos for free because I think there's still a free plan, but you can also pay for a subscription. The subscription is not too bad. I think it's $9.99 for that subscription, actually $7.99 for the standard. So it's actually not bad at all compared to a lot of other platforms. It's actually really good for the yearly plan. Now I actually have some videos I want to show you guys. And these were videos specifically generated with images. So I'm going to click on a few videos and this in particular was a video generated with this image. So I had this car with the plate label King five and it's, it's essentially driving down the highway. And when I put that in Minimax, I got this result. So in the beginning, this was not very good, but the generation following that was not bad. It's just that weird morph or whatever that happened before the car started actually driving. But once it actually started driving, it started looking a little bit better. The only thing is that it does look like the car is going in reverse because of just how the environment is moving. So it's not adhering to what is expected or the prompt, but that's what we got so far. The next one is this guy. So he is holding a net and he's standing on the seashore, a rocky seashore. So I just essentially put it, put in this prompt and wanted to see what was going to happen. And essentially he is just sort of moving the net around, not really doing too much. This is not a bad generation, but there are some morphing with his hands, which is expected. This is still early stages of AI video generation. We still have this problem with hands morphing and inconsistencies and things like that. But other than that, pretty decent generation. So let me know what you guys think there. Now, this is a couple walking through a rain soaked city. And let me just show you the original image. So that's the original image. So this is a couple walking through rain soaks the reflections of neon light on the wet pavement on the cloudy night sky. This is not bad. This does sort of get it right. What I like to do though, is not only pay attention to the subject, but also the people around and really and truly like the people around, it doesn't look too crazy what they're doing. They seem pretty coherent for the most part. There is a little bit of weirdness going on, but for the most part, it seems pretty coherent. And this couple is walking and nothing looks out of the ordinary. It just looks pretty normal in terms of the couple. So that's a pretty good generation there, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about that one. Now, this one is a graffiti artist is spray painting a vibrant mural on an urban wall surrounded by neon lights under dim street lights in a bustling city at night. So I just use the same prompt that I used to generate this video. So this is the original image. And yeah, I mean, he's spray painting. There is some weird stuff going on. Initially, he started out with one can and then out of nowhere, the other can just appeared. He was able to pick up the other can out of thin air pretty much. And nothing is really going on in terms of him spray painting the wall. Obviously, it's not able to recognize the spray paint actually going on the wall, but they do have the motion correct of his hands moving around. And that is how you would spray paint. So at the same time, they had it. The model has the idea of what to do It's just not capable of really doing the whole thing. But a pretty good generation if you're just going to use this for a simple thing, whatever, add, whatever. I mean, it's a pretty decent generation right there. And a woman in black top and red skirt walking. So let me show you the original image. So this is the original image. This is the woman walking. And obviously this woman, her skirt changes as she walks. The walking animation is good, but for some reason, the skirt changes. I don't know why. And obviously this is not the same woman that started out. This is a different looking woman. So that's another thing. 
they started out with the right skirt and then they changed it for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but that is our generation right there. So let me know what you guys think. So this is a ballerina dancing. I will say that this is a decent generation. It does have some morphing issues from time to time, especially at the end right there. We saw that weird thing that happened with the morphing, but it started out good. And then over time, it just got worse. But let me know what you guys think about this. This is the original image that it started from and essentially turned it into this video. So let me know what you guys think about that. And I tried to generate the video again with this image, but we even got a worse result. So now the car is going backwards. It is reversing backwards. It's not going forward. Now, granted, I did not add a prompt. I did not add a prompt here. I did not tell it what to do. I just expected it to interpret what to do, but that's not the expected result. The expected result is that the car should be going forward. It's going backwards. So all in all, I will say the image to video model definitely needs improvement. I would rather use a text to video model because image to video seems like it gives more inconsistent result for some weird reason. Usually image to video tends to be better and more coherent because of the fact that it has something as a reference. But in this situation, it seems like Minimax definitely needs to work on the image to video and the prompt adherence. So let me know what you guys think about Minimax's image to video model. And have you been using Minimax? Have you been checking it out? Link is in the description to this platform. Let me know what you guys think and have a great day. Pacey AI sign now. Peace.